What's up, Nerd Nation? This is Normatico here with another Blaster Review. Today, we're actually going to be traveling to 2020 when Hasbro decided to revisit some older Blasters as part of the Icon series. Uh, so, in fact, we're actually going to travel back even further back in time to 2006 to review the End Strike Long Shot. CS6. Now, this is the Icon series, so it is from 2020, not the 2006 version, and there are a little bit of a difference here uh, when it comes to two blasters. 2006 actually had the longer plunger tube. Uh, at the time, it was the longest plunger tube available from any Nerf product. They actually shortened the plunger tube for the Icon series, so you can't actually modify it as much, but there are still modifications available for this blaster. However, on the flip side, they supposedly brought the performance up to quote-unquote elite standards uh, for the modern generation. We are going to test that out to see whether or not this blaster does perform to what they say is elite standard or if we are closer to the End Strike series. Let's go ahead and actually open up this box here and see what's inside. All right, so I obviously need to get some new equipment here because this box is way too big for this camera angle. So... Just to give you an idea, we're gonna pan right here to the side. There's the long shot. This thing is huge. Now, I remember at the time when this thing came out, this was the king of the battlefield. To say that, hey, I owned a long shot meant that you had some money and you were also the, uh, the king, so to speak, because this was the farthest shooting blaster at the time, back in 2006. Me, on the other hand, I had the uh, Recon, which still an iconic blaster in my opinion. It, you know, from the Recon, you got the Retaliator um, and all the other Recons that were released afterwards. So, of course, this is uh, supposedly frustration-free packaging. That is paper twine. It's kind of hard to cut. Let's get this blaster out of here. And of course, you come with 12 darts. Let's go ahead and get our specialty icon darts out of this packaging. It's not exactly frustration free because we are using plenty of plastic here. How do you know this is an icon blaster? Well, the darts will tell you. So taking a look at the blaster, of course, you do have the actual six star clip, which we need to actually get the priming bolts in here in order to prime the blaster to release the clip and load the darts inside of that. I'm gonna go a quick uh, little pause here while I find those bolts and get this connected. Okay, of course, taking off the barrel extension makes this a much more manageable size. Uh, this part actually does have the folding bipod legs that is integrated into the actual stock itself. This is not an rail attachment, slaps in and out. And of course you have the priming bolt. And the mag release, which is one-sided, it is on the right side only. It is not on the left itself. Decoration-wise, of course you have the black Nerf emblem here and it is just etched into the skin there as well. Uh, this is just classic and strike coloring, the uh, obnoxious yellow and orange, which I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of fond of because it kind of reminds me of school bus yellow, which is awesome if you're driving a sports car. I don't know so much about a blaster itself. Um, you do have an extendable stock. And that also does have additional mag storage. You can store a six round magazine. Um, and I believe you can actually store the larger magazines as well. Uh, but this is technically a quote unquote sniper. So you only get the six rounds. Now, fun bit of trivia, when this was actually released, they were calling it the CS12, uh, which means it would be clip system with 12 darts of a clip. Uh, that is not true. It is only a six dart clip. You do have 12 darts, however. Um, now, one thing I will tell you about the Icon series darts is that they are iconic, as in they are elite, as in they are iconically bad. So don't expect a straight shot with this necessarily. Uh, of course, you do have the secondary blaster part of this thing, which just primes like so. 
Well, it's supposed to prime like so. I wonder why it's not priming. There we go. And it fires. So you actually shoot one dart out of the top barrel and then one dart out of the bottom barrel. I will tell you, though, that from my experience, this bottom barrel is not the farthest flinging blaster. And upgrading this is not the easiest thing either. So you might want to be careful if you actually use this. A lot of people just choose to stick with the main body of the blaster for their upgrade. Now, it does have, of course, a detachable scope. And the scope itself does have quote-unquote plastic optics on the inside. So it is not just a hollowed out scope. Let's see if you can get that on camera there. So at least they actually put some sort of details in here, unlike what they've done in their more recent offerings, where it is just a hollowed out barrel. So there is that. You do, of course, have the standard screws here, so you can open this blaster up. Uh, from my understanding with these, there was no solvent welding, no actual clips in here. So it is a relatively painless modification. Uh, even though you could not modify it using the old CS6 parts, you would actually have to make sure that it is for the Icon series. Now we're actually going to go ahead and load up the darts in here, and we're going to start doing some firing tests. I'm going to run into the chronograph, and I'm going to do distance tests. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to do distance not only with the actual extended barrel on, but also off as well. So you can see just how much muzzle drag there is with this blaster. That being said, this is when it was not about performance with Hasbro. It was all about having fun. And again, this little bolt action, it's fun. It's always been fun. It is fantastic. And it makes you feel like you are the big guy on the battlefield. So let's actually go to the chronograph test now. with the long shot CS6. I'm gonna be doing multiple tests here because of course it is a multiple stage blaster. We're gonna start off with the entire body attachments on. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some waffle tipped darts and then I'm gonna be switching over to elite darts to see the accuracy of both sets. Uh, and then I'm gonna actually launch a few from the actual barrel attachment itself and uh, see how accurate this thing is.
So this does not like the waffle tip darts. Let's switch to Elite. They went straight. They didn't always hit the target, but they did go straight. All right, now for the accuracy test using just the core blaster. This is not the most accurate blaster in the world so far, folks. Third time's charm using just the actual barrel extension. is a lot more accurate than the regular blaster but of course you can actually better get a better grip and use the actual iron sights which is way better than using the quote unquote scope. Okay, so we are here in the parking lot range, and I'm actually going to be doing multiple tests with the CS6. Uh, we're going to be doing it with just the actual barrel extension, and then we're going to be doing it with the stock, and then combined uh, to see just how far these blasters actually do fire. First up, we're doing just the barrel extension. Not the best distance with just the barrel extension, but you saw in the chronograph, it's not made to shoot very far. This is more of a secondary blaster. It's attached to the main one. Just using the stock CS6. That's pretty decent. Now with the full blaster, quick dart recovery and we'll see just what those numbers are. All right, so G-Rex is actually winding up the uh, tape that we used to measure everything here. And uh, we actually got to measure 92 feet was the maximum distance using the, um, just the actual stock, uh, the, the, the main body, I should say, not the full body. So it definitely hits that elite standard of up to 90 feet without a problem. I will tell you though that the actual barrel extension um, it does not go very far. We only got about 38 feet of a straight shot. Uh, I believe it was like almost 50 feet with an angled shot. But even though that's, you know, not very, very great distance wise, that is a secondary shot. So, you know, it's okay. Um, the actual full body, it is in the 70 foot range. Uh, again, you get a lot of drag once you actually attach that, that full barrel attachment to it. So it's probably better to, just to stick with the actual main body of the blaster itself when you are using it. It is still a fun blaster though. And 
we are back with our final thoughts regarding the Longshot CS6 Icon series. Um, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. It might be the nostalgia factor here of actually using a blaster for my youth, but uh, this is fun. This is what Hasbro was all about. This is what Nerf was all about. It's about big. It's about fun. It's about blasting people. Um, it is definitely upgraded compared to the older series. I actually have a Midnight Blue long shot uh, from the original series that I might actually open up that one and modify it, uh, make it into a project blaster. But uh, this one right here, the stock performance, look, when they said that they were bringing the older blasters to Elite series, um, they did it. We hit 70 uh, feet per second with the chronograph. We hit 90 feet of uh, the distance test. The accuracy, well, you know, we're shooting elite darts, and there's always going to be a problem with accuracy and elite darts. I will tell you this much, though. It troubles me that this thing did not like the waffle tip darts. Um, those things normally shoot out without a problem. Not in this case. Uh, it could be a matter of just the barrel itself, uh, but those waffle tip darts barely made it down the hallway. They started curving downwards, started going at all different angles. That's not the usual thing out of my waffle tips. So I, I don't know what to explain about that one. Uh, but it does like the regular elite darts. It does like the regular uh, standard end strike darts. So I'm okay with this blaster. Uh, this is definitely one that's going to go on the wall, only because, again, it is an iconic blaster. This is what Hasbro was about almost 20 years ago, was this. This right here. To say that you actually had the long shot, it meant that you were the king of the nerf battlefield. Um, I will tell you, though, that this blaster is a little bit pricey to actually find it. Um, and normally you'll find them like the whole blaster for right around the $55 range uh, with resellers. If you have an Ollie's close by to you, check their stocks. They actually have it for $34. That's closer to the normal price that I remember back in 2006, to be honest with you. But when you adjust for inflation... $36 in 2006 is like $50 to $60 now. So, you know, it's there. If it's not in your budget, it's one of those things that you don't need this for a Nerf War. This is more for the collector. This is more for the people who just want to have fun. Um, this is not going to be a professional competition blaster unless you actually do some heavy modifications on it, which is possible with the original long shot. I don't know about the Icon series yet. Um, I will actually have to research that and see what we can do with this one. Probably put a stronger spring in here. And uh, who knows, we might be able to hit 100 feet per second, but not with this attachment. I don't know about this attachment part. Maybe like this, not like this. Of course, we could always do a brass tube in here and uh, see how that works out. That'd be kind of spicy. I want to actually thank you all for watching Secondhand Blasters. Of those things that our next giveaway is going to be when we hit 300 subscribers. Currently, at the time of me making this video, we are in the process of our current giveaway at 200 subscribers. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and actually email me. You have until the Monday prior to Thanksgiving 2023 to shoot an email to enter to win for your chance to get a free blaster. Uh, this one's not going to be one of the ones that I give away for free, but uh, you never know what I'm going to give away. Until next time, keep on blasting. <laughs>